Hello, this is Happy Jig here for System Test 24A, unless that's already in the iMovie library unfinished, but who cares? This is 24. Yes, we are here. We can finally do this again because we are back from our first quarter in college, which is why we've been gone for so long. You know, I hate it when they do that. Ugh, yeah. Anyways, but I am glad that I haven't back. had to do anything and, crazy. Oh, we are so excited to do this today. We have yes. Yeah. Um, this one isn't really anything super special. Um, it's just Gentech Sync. We have the Commander 2 horn and the Commander 3 here is set to 15 Candela regular horn. Oh, but Gentech we Sync. do have... Uh... Was this here last time? It's no. been over a year and a half, so I don't remember. But I don't think it was. Finally, we have the Enunciator set up with its back box, proper back box, so it's all complete after so long, and it works. Well, I guess that's not the best way to show it. And yeah, just battery trouble. The buttons feel weird on it because of how it's constructed and. Yeah, they're, they're not as nice as the buttons on this, but they're still way, way better than the 5700. Yeah. The 5700 has even less travel than, like, a microwave. I'm not or sure. Or actually, you know, no, I don't care about spoilers or anything. Even less travel than the butt membrane buttons on that thing. And uh, that's, that's going to get a video of its own because it's pretty neat. Our room is a huge mess. But we've spent three days cleaning it up. <laughs> Just for this test. A bunch of stuff got piled in here while we were gone. And we spent a lot of time finding stuff again and organizing it all. Uh, especially this shelf. And getting everything working. There were a few problems. This fire alarm system was fine. The cables down in that box were a total rat's nest. And there's a bunch of other stuff that shouldn't have been in there. And for some reason... The touch center wasn't working initially, but now it is again. For some reason, it wasn't responding to touch. Oh, and the uh, tuxedo is here too. Uh, what else? Oh, for the first time on the board, we have the SD505. Are you sure it's the first time? Uh, it is on the board, not the first time on the system. It's been in one other system test. Actually, I don't know what model number this is. Let's, uh, oh. It only has one screw installed. Here, you hold this. And yeah. I'm also filming on my phone this time instead of a camera. What model number is this? Uh, you know, I think it's an SC505 PS. Maybe, not a PS. I thought that's the, who cares? It is a Hochiki photoelectric smoke detector. You can put the text on screen, it's okay. But, why I mention that is because we have the deodorant today and we can go into the menu and look at its point status to see uh, its obscuration so we can see that percentage. Oh yeah, why don't we do that first? And we also have the correct firefighter's key. Let's see, point functions, point status, 5815, uh, you know, you can just scroll through these. So that's a two wire module. That's the pole station. That's the conventional zone. There is SD505, just as I said. And let's get more info. Oh. Yeah. And Hey, it actually tells you what all that means. That's nice. So, as it sees smoke, this 3.5% figure will go up. It will probably go up instantly and go into an alarm. Yeah. But we'll see. That's is a system test. Let's actually test stuff. Uh-huh. And that's why we have the heat detector here today. Because we don't want them both going off. So, uh, why don't we go do that? I'm gonna go... Here, you can go grab the deodorant uh, and hold the camera when I put my hearing protection on. 
Oh, and let me set the touch center to go to sleep because those photos should not be on video. There. Okay, that's set right. Now, why don't we test the detector here? Here, you can stand back a bit. Your peak of 1% is over a day, so. Yeah, we're gonna spray stuff in there. I can't really get both in shot, so I'll just get this one in shot. Okay, here we go. Actually, you know what? No, we can't get both in shot. Let me grab your phone. We can edit this together in a cool way. Okay, here we go. Let's test this detector. Uh, it's been a while. There, that's good. This detector has never responded to our magnets for some reason. Um, Yes. Oh, did you do that? Yeah. Oh, how could I forget to mention? We have a wireless keypad now. This thing is cool, but the one time we tried out the panic buttons, it also set off the system in our house and called ADT. So that's not cool. It was, that was absolutely terrible to figure out. Yeah. Ruined my day. <laughs> the system would not reset for some reason. So, uh, speaking of not resetting, why don't we reset this? I'm very happy to have this enunciator. It's a cool little baby. There. Let's just hope it doesn't, uh... Let's hope it doesn't re-alarm. It shouldn't, though, right? Right. Yeah, it won't. It's already uh, dispersed. Peak 255. Okay, so we entirely maxed it out there, which is not surprising at all. Yeah. But, oh, we should probably uh, activate the pull stations. Here, let's see. Does doing this thing with the key make it go back to the main menu? Normally when you're, when you, no, it doesn't happen when you use the code. Here, I want to show that because it's neat. If you get into the menu using the firefighter's key. Like this. What is it, five? Mm -hmm. oh. No, it's four. And then you turn the key back to the unlocked position. It will go back to the main screen, which I like. Step by step. Mm -hmm. And uh, why don't we also use one of the pull stations? This one. You know, let's use both of them. Except okay. I want to do that. Okay. You hold this. Nice MS-51. <laughs> Finally. Oh, and this. I have the key right here. Why don't you silence that? Fire, fire, Come on. Uh oh. Is this not the right key? Fire, don't, run. Fire, don't, run. Oh, duh. This is an 
a Demko key because we got Ed a Demko lock for the panel because we got a pair of them and the other has yet to be installed in the Vista. Can you go get the Silent Night key? Yeah. Here, I can reset these with one hand. Oh, but I don't have the right bit in the screwdriver. <sighs> well, it wouldn't be a system test without simple oversights. Now, well, would it would be one of our system tests. Yeah. Like, we only have this tiny board, and yet we get we just make such long videos about it. <laughs> and we have barely anything to say. But I like talking about it anyways. Talking about stuff is fun. I've missed doing this. And I'll have plenty to talk about the MS5024 over there in our next video. Because that that is interesting for us. And I think it'll be interesting for everyone watching too. Because uh, we did very so something very interesting with it. We never got asterisk working with uh, alarm receiver, but I think you'll think what we were able to do with that is going to be way cooler. But I'll Thank talk God about that more later. The alarm. There. <sighs> uh, there. Now I got to reset this. I like using a little DS stylus with this. Especially with the old touch centers, it's much more reliable. Uh. There. Let's reset. Uh, what's not ready about you? Oh, no, it is ready. Okay, well, that was our system test. Not a whole lot going on this time, but it's more about the amount of time, I guess. It's good to be back! <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, we're going to experiment with some really cool stuff by the next video, whenever that will be. So hopefully that makes it into the next video. So this has been a happy jig production and goodbye. <laughs>